Right, so after fighting with the engine stand that I purchased, <sighs> doesn't look like it's gonna work. So we're just gonna skip and do it all on this little cart. All right, you can see the pistons right here and they don't look in bad condition at all. There is no pre-detonation, no pitting or anything like that. Um, I have a letter E, so I'm guessing that's the casting. And 5.75. I don't know if you can see that. But there's an arrow on the piston right here, along with these initials. And you want this arrow to face towards the flywheel when you're reinstalling, and it's like that on every piston. So, in order to get these pistons out, I have to take this water tube off and the water pump off in order to gain access or to drive the wrist pin out of the block. So, this is my first time doing this. Uh, I think I'm going to start on the water pump side. It appears to be a bit easier, and I think these all tie in together anyway, so I have to remove the water pump to get this pipe off too. It's probably 13. Yep. I'm sure if it's supposed to do that. Uh, if you're a Volkswagen person, is it supposed to separate like this? <laughs> I did order a new pump, and I got that from vanagain.com. I do have a significant amount of parts coming from Go Westy, but again, it's cool to uh, help someone out on the East Coast. I was able to take off this nut, that nut, but I can't get to this one down here because crank pulleys in the way so I'm going to, have to take off this water line right here um, and I needed to use a six millimeter Allen to get in that spot because it's super super tight here we go a little nervous I thought I was gonna break it one quarter turn at a time water pump is loose and now coming out we got some corrosion and some gross stuff in there, so I'm glad I bought a new unit. And I was able to remove that pipe. It just took a very long time. Got this off, and I can actually see a wrist pin right here. And that's what we are trying to remove. Try to get a snap ring tool in there and pull that circ clip out, and hopefully get on the other side and try to push this this wrist pin out. Feeling quite defeated. I've been trying to pull the wrist pin out of the piston itself. Um, I was able to get the snap ring out, no issue whatsoever. Um, but they're just like really, really seized in there. Um, so I developed this rig. There's some regular all thread and I have a nut on the inside that's gonna get sucked in when I pull this. So yeah, first time doing a job like this and I'm just worried about further breaking things. But so far, no noise. Um, we are getting resistance. All that. You scared the living hell out of me. There's a wrist pin. Let's go for another send, guys. Yes. This is the most progress I've seen in, I'd say a little over an hour. I think we got it. Yes. Yes. Back this all the way out. Get that out. Or sorry, there's the wrist pin right there. There's my nut that I put on there and it was just small enough to make it past the circlip and the exact size of the wrist pin. So now I'll slide this all out. Slowly, slowly, yes. There it is, our first piston. It actually worked. Oh, I'm so pumped. So yeah, now I gotta do that about three more times and um, 
we'll have this engine torn down. There we go, cleared it out. So what I like to do is just squeeze it, walk it a little bit, and make sure the magnet's got a good hold of it because if this goes flying, it'll go inside the block and ruin your day. And then you gotta basically fish it out or tear down this entire block. So this is what we pulled out. So I have two of these now. So we're gonna come in like so. This not right onto it. Yep, and we're in. Make sure the all thread's not on the actual cert clip itself. Cause that would suck. Again, this is my first time doing this, so appreciate you bearing with me and learning while I learn. See, like I said, I was in there with needle nose, trying to grab the inside of this wrist pin and, and walk it out. And I don't have a slide hammer. I think that would probably work really, really well. You work with what you got. This is all I got. Take my block, right up against the engine, two washers just in case. And all, all I'm doing is just trying to brace the piston from flexing a bit. Yeah, I think that'll, that'll do. Last it. Sick flip. Oh man, this one came out way easier. I think I just figured out the fucking hack. Shoot! I can't keep up with it. I only go until I get a little bit of resistance and yeah, just give it a quick tap. You guys are witnessing it. This took me five minutes. Awesome. Oh, I'm so thrilled. I thought I was gonna be out here for like six hours pulling pistons it out like that. Oh man, what an easier way to do it. All I, have, all I had to do was just spin the all thread and this guy comes right out. So this fits perfectly right on there and it just helps pull it right out. As you can see, no damage whatsoever. Oh man, I really thought this was going to be like an awful job. If I had an actual lift, garage space, I think I'd probably get this job done in maybe three, four hours. Um, but I'm doing it on the ground because you work with what you got and uh, no super fancy tools or anything like that. This is just straight backyard ingenuity. So Volkswagen guys found a trick. I'm not sure if it's a already standing trick, but I looked on YouTube and I couldn't find anything like that. So that's how I pull them out. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. I was able to get all four of the pistons out with that tool, so <sighs> super pumped. I really thought I was gonna have to take it to a shop and get them out, like I was super frustrated. But with a little perseverance and uh, some redneck ingenuity, <laughs> we got it done. I have like two minutes left of battery. I put a bag over the distributor and I bagged up the clutch and flywheel. What I'm gonna do is spray some cleaner on top of this motor and power wash it down. So let's get this motor cleaned up.